friends, this is Robin over at Trinity Design Studio. I was going to, um, I am going to go over this card with you today. I had my Christmas card class last night, Christmas in September, and we did three cards. Everybody that comes to my in-person Christmas card classes gets to make 10 cards total out of three designs that I have for them. And this is one of the designs that I created for them to do last night. So I'm going to do this with you. Um, I'll go over who I am and where you can find me on the internet after I'm done showing you the card. But for now, let's get right into making this card. And I'm going to real quickly try to bring up, yep, there it is, the live broadcast that I'm doing on my laptop so I can see who's commenting and who's joining. And hopefully I can chat with you while um, I'm creating this card. So thanks for giving me a second here to get set up and Okay, so you can't see that. That's Is that better? Is that straight to you guys now or is that sideways? Because I'm looking at my computer and it's looking like it's sideways when I have it the other way. Um, let me know what's what you can see. Oh, I think that looks better probably. So you guys tell me. Um, anyway, hope you like the card. Thanks for stopping in and we're going to get started. I'm going to show you how to create this and I'll try to remember to do it in this way so um, you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better okay so let me set this aside and I'm gonna get out the piece of cardstock that I'm gonna start with this is a uh, real red cardstock from Stampin Up all the products I use are from Stampin Up um, that's my business and it's what I do to pay the bills I teach card making and scrapbooking and paper crafts of all kinds but anyway so this is real red cardstock from Stampin Up and I've cut it at eight and a half by five and a half and I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to fold the card in half, fold this card base in half. Thanks for joining me today, guys, on the Periscope um, broadcast. Now, for those of you that are going to watch the replay, um, I am chatting with all the folks that are tuning in live. And if you're going to be watching this on YouTube later, um, you'll, you'll hear a lot of chatter with me talking back and forth with the folks that are watching. Um, and... Yep, and just ignore that because I just wanted to put, I want to get the videos up for you so you can see what I'm doing. So here's my card base folded in half, and it's four and a quarter this way by five and a half this way. So I'm going to set this piece aside. That's not what I'm going to stamp on right away. I'm going to stamp on another piece of real red cardstock, and this one is four, four inches by five and a quarter inches this way. And what we're going to do, we're using this gorgeous snowflake stamp and the stamp set's not here on my table. Let me go grab that, because I think you should know the name of the stamp set that we're using. I would think that you would want to know, um, just in case. So give me two seconds to grab that. And of course, it's the last one in the pile. Okay, the stamp that we're using is from this stamp set called Holly Jolly Greetings. There you go, that's the name of the stamp set, the whole big thing. And, oh, nice, that's a great way to get you blocked. We're going to block that person. And I'll have to go back and do that. So just ignore the nasty comments. When I get a chance, I'm gonna go back, back and block that person. So anyway, here we go. Um, I'm using my Versamark ink pad, and I'm just going to ink up my stamp. I need to move this around here so I can do this without rocking the camera. So there we go, I'm inking up my snowflake and just gonna stamp it randomly. Just complete random stamping. Oh, nice, let's block this person, thank you. Okay, you're done. Ignore the nasty comments, guys, sorry about that. Um, I'll try to catch them as I can. And yeah, we just don't want that kind of, we don't need that kind of negativity in our life today, do we guys? Nope, we don't. So here we go. And I'm just, like I said, I'm randomly stamping the snowflake on the card base. So there we go. And you probably can't see that very well, but there is Versamark snowflakes all over the background here. And I'm just going to take out my gold embossing powder and I have it in a tray to make it easy to kind of keep um, contained. And all I do is just slid the, I slid the card underneath of the embossing powder and I'm just gonna let it coat the whole front 
of my card. Hopefully you can see that. I know I'm a little close. But then I flick the cardstock just to flick off all the excess. That's really a technical term, flicking. It's not. I'm just joking. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm flicking off all the excess and a little bit. Sometimes you need a little bit of a paint a little paintbrush to get all the extra excess off that you don't want to emboss. And to, I don't use the embossing buddy. That's a product that's out there on the market. I don't like it, um, especially on dark cardstock like this, simply because the embossing buddy can leave a residue, like a, a white residue, on your darker cardstock. It's fine for white or vanilla cardstock, um, but it's not good for um, darker cardstock. So there's my emboss. It's fine. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I know it's probably going to get covered, but I'm going to take that out right there. There. Just clean up my snowflake a little bit. All right. So get my embossing gun out, and I'm not sure who just said they wish they had this tray. I know. I wish that Stampin' Up! still made these trays and sold them. They were awesome. They came in a set of two. It was a large one and a small one, and they were just incredible. So you know what a really good thing for your embossing powder is? Get a large flat, like a Rubbermaid or a Tupperware container, and the nice thing about that is you can actually keep your different colors of embossing powder in um, those containers and keep the lid on them. You don't have to clean it out all the time. So you can see I'm just holding the embossing gun in place. It's not like a hair dryer. You don't do this with it. Not a hair dryer. You want to hold it in one place and let the embossing powder melt. And you just follow the melting pattern as it goes across the cardstock. So I think this gold is gorgeous on the red too. Thank you. I love this. Um, sometimes it's the most simple things that give you the most pop, the most wow factor. And gold and red for Christmas is perfect any time, any day. And I just loved it. So you could also do cherry cobbler if you wanted something a little bit richer, but I just wanted something bright and Christmassy for this one. Okay, so I'm turn my embossing gun off. There we go. That's all embossed. And now all I'm going to do, this is the this is the hard part, guys. I'm telling you, watch closely. That's, that's sarcasm. I'm very sarcastic. That's probably not a good thing for a stamper, right? And there we go. Using my Fast Fuse. And since the cardstock was a, is a little warped from the embossing gun. There was probably some moisture. I'm down in my um, my classroom area in my house. I'm still set up from class last night, and it's a little damp down here sometimes. But my cardstock warped a little bit. Now I think when I was showing you putting cards together the other day, um, I told you the trick that I use. I line up these corners, the two corners here, and if the top and the two sides are even, then almost all the time, the rest of your card's gonna be even. And that's pretty good right there. So there's my card base. And remember, we're headed towards this. So we're getting there. So let me set this aside for a second. And the next thing I'm gonna do is take some gold glimmer paper and the two and a half inch circle punch. Hopefully you can see that. Can you see my, you can see my phone. Look at that in the phone stand, that's kind of cool. Okay, so there's the two and a half inch circle punch. And all I'm going to do is slide that in. And I cut the gold glimmer paper down for class last night into strips just to make it easier for my students to um, to get use their punches. And I cut the strip at two and three quarters by twelve. So there we go. And that's my gold circle right there. And I'm just going to take some dimensionals. And usually when I put a circle element on my card. I add a triangle of dimensionals. You don't feel like you have to cover the whole thing, but if you get that triangle, it kind of covers the points that you need to make it even and stable all the way around. Thank you guys for joining me today on Periscope. I really love this medium. Um, my life is not conducive to creating and publishing uh, a ton of videos. And this is a great way for me to be able to get my art out for you guys to see and enjoy and have fun learning how to make cards and other paper crafts. So anyway, um, that's the gold circle right there. Now the next step is going to be getting the, um, the tag, 
right here. And what I used for that, I used the Joy stamp from Your Presence. It's another stamp set called Your Presence. And I think it's Your Presence. Anyway, it's over across the room. I'm not going to get up again. Yes, I think so too. Um, I like Periscope. Um, I think that's Cynthia saying hi. That Periscope's the best. It's pretty awesome. And I just like it because it's casual. It's it's easy. Um, you know, it's no, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be fun. And that's what stamping is all about. It's fun. So I'm going to take out my real red ink pad and lock that in place there. And just got a piece of very vanilla cardstock. And I'm going to ink up my stamp. Can y'all see that? I think you can. Ink up my stamp and just stamp that right there like that and then I have my my note tag punch this is what I'm going to use to punch this out with and there's the front of it Can you see that oh, oh I'm sorry anyway so there's the note tag punch and I'm, all I'm going to do is slide that in like this what I do is not complicated stamping I like things that look incredible but aren't difficult or crazy hard to make and that's I think what this is. I love this card so much. So there is the um, the greeting, the joy greeting. Now, what I did to attach it to the gold, let me show you a couple things. First thing I did, I put a dimensional, and so you can see the back of it. Somebody used that last night and had a smudge on it. So I just used the back side because I don't want to go to waste. Anyway, and I put a dimensional right there in that upper left corner, and then I took my fast fuse because Fast Fuse is the only thing that will stick directly to that gold glimmer paper. So I have a dimensional here in the corner. You're wondering why I did that? Because this circle is already up on dimensionals. So when I have the dimensional in the corner right there, when I go to lay this down and stick it down, it just gives it, it pops it up and keeps it even with the rest of the card. You could put another one there if you wanted to. It's not really necessary. Up to you. Okay, last step is going to be with uh, making our little, adding our ribbon. This is the gold satin ribbon from Stampin' Up. Um, super simple. I cut this in four inch strips and all you're going to do is tie a single knot just like that and tie it tight in the middle. So you've got a pretty flat side right there and not such a pretty side right there. And then all you're going to do to make this finished, you're going to flag the ends of the ribbon. So you fold these ends in half like that and you got your open side and your fold side. You take your ribbon scissors and cut from the open side to the folded side at a diagonal just like that and it gives you that pretty flagged end. There you go. So let's do that to the other side one more time. You guys still out there watching? Oh thank you for the hearts. So for my replay viewers and uh, my YouTube viewers, I'm saying thank you for the hearts because when people are watching my video, watching my broadcast, if they like what they're seeing, they can tap their screen on their mobile device and give me hearts, and that tells me that they're really enjoying the broadcast. So there is our bow accent, and the way we're going to attach that is using some mini glue dots, and I'm just going to fold that back, and I can't see, Car hi Carmen, how are you doing? That's Carmen in the Netherlands, my friend in the Netherlands. Another fabulous card maker. We card makers like to stick together, don't we? Yes, we do. So all I did, I just took my ribbon and pressed it down on the glue dots, on two glue dots, and that's just gonna go right here on the tag. So that's the outside of the card all finished. I have one more step because I wanna put something on the inside of the card. So I cut a piece of very vanilla cardstock, and this is cut at four inches. Yes, Carmen, you, hello. And this is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And all I'm gonna do, let me move this out of the way, I'm using a greeting from Joyful Season. And it says, may your season be the perfect mix of warmth and cheer, which I thought was great for this particular card. Now here's the trick. I know the way I'm stamping is so you guys can see it straight up and down. So let's see if I can get this straight without turning it so I can see it. Are you with me? You think I can do it? If you think I can do it, tap the screen and give me some hearts. Oh yeah, all right, well, you have more faith in me than I do at the moment, so let's see if I can get it straight. Does that look straight? 
Okay, here we go. If it's not, I can always flip it over. <gasps> Yay! That looks pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I'm very happy about that. Yay! <laughs> All right. I sound like a kid giving myself applause here. That's crazy. But if you're a stamper, you know what it means to get something perfectly straight when it's um, when it's writing. So I'm just going to take a little more of my fast views and attach this on the inside of the card and bring this over here. And again, just lining up those corners, even for the inside layer. Now I'm not rubbing right on that red. I want to make sure it's um, dry. So there is your finished Christmas card. So if you need to know where to get my get products that you can use. This is me. Um, this is Trinity Design Studio. And I'm with Stampin' Up. I'm Stampin' Up Demonstrator. Thanks for the hearts, guys. Thanks for tuning in and loving on me today. I appreciate that. I, I really love this card, and I couldn't wait to share it with you. Um, but you can shop online at my website. It's trinitydesignstudio.stampinup.net. My blog is trinitydesignstudio.com. You found me on Periscope, so I would just ask that you share my videos, share my feed with your friends um, at trinitydesign95. That's also my Twitter handle, and I'm on Instagram too. In fact, this card's on Instagram today because um, I just wanted to get it out there. I loved it so much. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'm going to be back tomorrow with another video from my Christmas card class, so you get to do one more card that I taught last night at my live class. Um, and you guys will be able to make it at home. Thanks again. I hope you have a fantastic day. Now, get off Periscope and go make something fun. Bye, guys.